Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hacker, AJ Raven, and I'm here with my recap and review of Digimon Adventure 2020, the anime series, episode number 15, which is titled Zudomon's Iron Hammer of Lightning. And as the title states, this episode is going to show us uh, Ikakumon's uh, ultimate Digi evolution, and I'm here for it because. I'm a fan of Joe Kido, even though he's basically, you know, he's a type of uh, the group member who always comes in last. However, he is still important to the group because even if he has other things to do, when push comes to shove, he always come through, comes through with his re reliability and all of that stuff. And Joe does have the crest of reliability. And I think that we got to see a whole lot of that in this episode. Now in the previous episode, we saw Izzy and uh, giving uh, Kabuterimon its ultimate evolution, which is Ulta Kabuterimon, which again, it looked very cool. However, I wasn't able to recap that uh, episode, but I, I liked how the episode focused on Izzy needing to use his own brain instead of relying on his laptop all the time. Anyway, coming back to episode number 15, it opens with a digi... Uh, what is it? A Digimon encyclopedia entry regarding Gobamon. And apparently the fish that Gobamon summons during its attack, uh, marching fishes, those fishes are, those fish, not fishes, <laughs> those fish are apparently Gobamon's followers. Uh, and I guess they're real. I, I always thought that they were supposed to be some, ki some kind of illusion because when they hit someone, they end up disappearing. But yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening there. So moving on, we see that uh, Yamato, Joe, and Sora are still flying with Bird Ramon and they're going to this new territory. territory. There's a whole lot of snow around and Sora is like, we can land there so that Bird Ramon can rest a bit. And then they notice that they are quite near to the rendezvous point with Taichi and the rest. However, the, the last thing that they need to do is go through this river. And Gabamon is like, yeah, this is where Ikakumon will come in and I'm ready, I'm, Joe and I are ready to help uh, our friends. But before that happens, of course, evil Digimon come in and we have these uh, Yuki Doramon, I guess, these little snow teddy bears, and then Mamomon. Mamomon is an ultimate Digimon, if you guys don't, uh, don't already know. So Budramon can't fight because she's tired and Yamato and Joe are ready to fight and then everyone starts fighting and this is where an attack from a Yuki Doramon ends up hitting Sora and Sora's entire body starts freezing up and Gobamon comes in and he is able to slash the ice away. However, Sora is still infected by the attack and they need to warm her up and if they want to take away uh, the freezing effect or else the, her entire body is going to start freezing. I actually liked seeing a digi destined be harmed in such a manner. It raised the stakes for me. So everyone is still fighting. Memamon ends up uh, creating an avalanche and uh, Gabamon changes to, uh, what is, what was it? Where, Gururamon? Uh, yeah, Gururamon, yeah. Uh, Gabamon digivolves to Gururamon and everyone sits on the Gururamon and they run away. While that's happening, we see that Taichi, Izzy, and Mimi are making way, their way through this uh, desert landscape. And apparently, Mibi, Mimi ended up seeing these Kiwi, Kiwimon, and she decided to ride them. And yeah, that got out of hand. So everyone is running away from the Kiwimon herd. Coming back to Sora, as I said, she is infected by the ice attack. And Gobamon says that they need to produce fire and they need to warm her up in order to melt this ice away. However, they can't create a fire right now because Mamamon and those Yuki Doramon are looking for them. So they need to cause a diversion. And Yamato then asks Joe if Joe is ready to be the one to cause the diversion. And Joe is like, you know what? I'm ready. We need to do this for Sarakun because Sara helped him uh, escape during the uh, Garudamon episode. And now it's uh, Joe's turn. And Gabamon is like, yeah, Joe, you and I can do that. So Joe and Gabamon end up uh, diverting uh, uh, Mamamon and the rest while Yamato takes Sora and they run away. 
Then we come back to Tai Chi and his group, and they are hiding in this cave. However, before they leave, Mimi notices an air draft coming from inside the cave, and it's weird because air coming from inside the cave would mean that there's an opening there somewhere, and the kids are like, you know what, let's go check it out. And I'm like, why would you do that? Why won't you just continue on, their, uh, continue on your rendezvous point to meet up with Yamato and the rest? Why would you go snooping around somewhere? But they ended up doing that. The rest of the episode involved Joe and Ikakumon uh, take, uh, leading uh, Mammon and the rest away from Sora and Yamato. And they end up stopping at the edge of the cliff and Ikakumon is like, now what? And this is where Joe comes in because we know that Joe is smart. He might be book smart, but he is still smart. So he notices that whenever Mamamon is uh, placing his foot on the ice, the ice cracks. So Joe is like, Ikakumon, I need you to aim at the ground before Mamamon is able to place its, uh, place its foot there. And Ikakumon is like, yeah, let's do that. And yeah, they are able to destroy the ground uh, beneath uh, Mamamon's feet. However, the rest of the ice also cracks. And I'm like, Joe, why didn't you figure out that that's, that's, it was clear that that was going to happen. But then again, Joe is like, what, only 14 or 13 years old? So I let it pass. But anyway, the ice cracks, but Joe is able to survive, and Mamamon also survives as well. Yamato is able to take Sora across the river, and he ends up calling Joe, and he's like, Joe, are you okay? Do you need any help? If you need help, Gururumon and I will come, come in. And Joe is like, no, we were able to cross the river. However, Mamamon is able to create this ice bridge, and Mamamon and the Yukidoramon are crossing the bridge, and Joe is like, yeah, stay with Sora. We can't leave Sora alone in her state. I, I've got this, I'll be, I'll be able to take care of Momomon on my own. And this is where Joe ends up uh, activating his crest of reliability because it's Joe's turn to, uh, to contribute in the group effort and he has to do it alone. And the crest activates and Ikakumon ends up transforming into Zudomon. And I have to say that I liked Zudomon's uh, Digi Evolution animation. He kind of looks cute. It's a weird cross between a dog and a warless and uh, with, a, with a turtle shell. It's, it's cool. Zudomon is able to uh, use his lightning hammer on Mam Mamamon and is able to defeat Mamamon. And then the action sequence ends in this shot with Zudomon looking very cute and there's rain. Actually, it's not rain, it's the, it's the water droplets from uh, Zudomon's attack and then a rainbow appears. And of course, the Digimon fandom ran with it. The Digimon fandom were, were uh, like, uh, Zudomon says queer rights, uh, Zudomon says LBGTQ rights. And I, you, and I was like, you know what, I'm here for it. While I was watching this episode, it, de it did feel very queer inclusive to me, especially uh, because of how this scene, this particular scene was uh, shot. I mean, if Joe ends up being the queer member of the group, I'll I'll be okay with it. But yeah, that happened. I just wanted to uh, to mention that for me, this was the this was a very queer episode of Digimon, especially with uh, with how uh, Zudomon's animation was uh, uh, animated and handled, and uh, Zudomon being very buff. Then we have a scene and it, it's revealed that Tokyo is still uh, facing issues. However, people that are online, they are able to keep in contact because uh, devices that are connected uh, online are still operating. However, the rest, of the, uh, the rest of the things are closed. And Sora is able to melt away the ice infection that she has and then Piyomon transforms into Birdramon and they're like, you know what, let's go and meet up with Taichi. And as far as Taichi and the rest are concerned, the episode ends with a shot where where, it re where, where it's revealed that Taichi, Izzy, and Mimi are apparently now back in Tokyo. Now, as far as my opinion goes, I don't trust this. I don't think that they're actually in Tokyo. I think that this is some sort of a trap. I'm not really sure, but yeah. As far as my opinion goes, I enjoyed this episode. Again, as I said, I like Joe Kido as a Digimon character, and I like that we finally got to see his Digimon partner's ultimate evolution. And now that every Digidestin has their ultimate evolution, I can't wait to see all of them transforming into their ultimate forms and fighting against an enemy. I want to see them working together in their ultimate forms. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later. Bye.